Okay, so I just logged on and apparently Gary is online. So let's see if we can find him. Right, I don't think he's in here. Gary, Gary, Gary. Uh, I had to estimate probably at the dock. Oh, Gary. There we go. But where is he? <laughs> we literally have to find him now. Okay, where is Gary? We're here. But where is he? Where is Gary? Holy crap. Should I just start doing this? Can't see anything. Yeah, Gary! Nice! Three gifts. Nice. Mind Riser. 3000 giveaway. Yes. And let's ask him to be our friend. Friend. Friend request. Send. And. And we got him as our friend! Nice! Now if we open up his normal register, it just looks like this. Nice. So we finally found Gary, as well as having befriended him. And... Having gotten this. Nice. I do wonder though, are we actually gonna be able to meet Rock Hopper as well? I mean, he's right there, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> Still though, we now are befriended with Gary as well as Dot. And having a signed card from Gary, Dot, as well as Elsa. Can we have a postcard over here? Ooh, we got a postcard. Haha, -ha, nice to see you. We also got a postcard from Gary now. Gary just said go into Rockhopper's mind. How's it gonna look? Not, uh, okay. A couple of people are, are starting to go in. Let's go. Here we are. Gary. Let's see if he does anything else interesting. All right, how are we gonna do science then, huh? Science, 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 science. Oh, I volunteer. <laughs> Everybody volunteers. <laughs> it's so cluttered, holy crap. <laughs> Let's go away from Gary a bit. Nope. Have not attended any experiment before. Alright, Gary, what is it? Calculating, okay. Didn't work. Alright, let's try it again. Ah, loading brain waves. Success! Nice. What are we gonna do now, Gary? I know what you are all thinking now. Well, what is it? I'm seeing a lot of postcards. Yes. And pizza with shrimp. Sure, let's give some pizza. Always remember, safety first. Inventing is your sole purpose. In your wait, impentos. What? Yeah, that went too, by too quickly. <laughs> Shall we perform a simple exercise in physics? Sure. First, take some snow, okay? Now bunch it into your hand, okay? By that. Yeah! Okay, snowball attack. Now arch your arm back at a comfortable eight angle. Estimate the way of the snowball. Approximate the necessary velocity and fire! Science has done it again. Truly. Truly amazing, indeed. Where to now? Let's follow the swarm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Too many people bunched in one place. Gary must feel uncomfortable. Any questions? Hmm. Uh, see, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master, master. I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but and I'm so creative like that. How about is yellow snow okay? How about that question? <laughs> you like to collect things? Insects? Okay. Pins, of course. Comics? Stamps? All sorts of things. Holy crap, I can't see anything. <laughs> Look at all those speech bubbles. 
So we're here now, huh? Let's take the slide. In ingenious idea. Good work. What did I miss? What? Whoa. How are you doing, Gary? I know it's a bit cluttered, but hi. Gary wants some coffee, all right. We could make an orderly line and just stay behind. But I don't think that's possible here. <laughs> You've got some tea? Yay! Drink a my tea. You want to explore more, Gary? All right. Where do we want to go next? I wonder what Rockhopper thinks about. Well, hmm, perhaps loot? <laughs> but the slide one more time. All right, sure. Let's go for the slide one more time. Whee! Right, where to next? Let's move. Where to? Where to? Move. Where? Next island? Sure. That would be the loot island. Hello. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yep, we're all not surprised at all. Loot, of course. Loot, 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 loot. Nice. Ah, I'm stuck. Rockhopper really likes treasure. He sure does. The question is, what is this axe? What is this? Huh, interesting. Penguins? Well, let's explore more! Of course! Let's go explore more. Let's go to the imagination land, I suppose. There we go. There he is. Nice. Wait, we gotta suit up. Like this. Yar -har -har. <laughs> Wait, can you actually go up there? Dang, I didn't realize. That doesn't look good. Well, too high? More treasure. Indeed. Let's channel our sword energy. <laughs> Explain this using science. Swoosh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go back to full pirate attire and back up here. Yes. There we go. On the pirate ship. Yes. Where'd Gary go? There he is. Do I look like I think no. Where is he? I kinda lost him. There he is. There he is, okay. Rockhopper has an interesting mind, indeed. Darwin is your pet puffle. He's a blue triceratops puffle. He hatched from an egg. Hmm. It's very clever. I would love to meet him. He's your lab assistant. You need to have him in your picture. <laughs> you really do. And pushes over beakers. Puffles are an unexplored subject to you. Huh. They do need more research indeed. What do puffles like to eat? Does anyone know? Puffalos. So many messages, holy crap. Want more exploration? Sure can do. Let's go there instantly. Nice. There we are. Where can we stand? We gotta stand in the pirate thing. In that one, right? Eh. Arr. <laughs> Bill by the science guy. Hello down there, Gary. Mistyped that, but hey. Not the Fluffy. What Fluffy? You think you saw something hidden? Where? Perhaps in a subconscious? Hmm. Deep in his mind? It's below this room. All right. Let's go there. There we are. With Egg Boy. Hello. Can we get up here? No, we can't. No, he can get up there. What is this? What is what? Was the orb there? Perhaps. This has become too cramped for me. Eh. Let's sit down here. From the flamingos. This is fairly interesting, I must say. What is? I just I just see a stone wall. No. Nobody panic. What? What is going on? Did you see evil flamingos? I don't think... I don't think we are alone down here. I mean, if those flamingos are real, we sure as heck ain't. Listen, everyone. If we don't notice it, it won't bother us, I'm sure. Because of the flamingos? I'm curious what it is, though. I'm curious, too, now. It doesn't look very happy, the snowball. <laughs> but this, truly incredible, touches orb. <laughs> Seems harmless. I think this will be research. The orb of memory takes orb. Uh-oh. Penguins? I think that made him angry. Made whom angry? Run? Run from what? No panic, no panic, no panic. Ah, meet me in the HQ. All right, HQ here. Let's get there quickly. What was there? Hmm? Or who was there? What was there? What was that? Where is Gary? Hmm, Quad is here. Gary is stuck in the sub area. No. 
There he is. Nice. He's back. Oh my god. What happened? Let's well, all flood to him. <laughs> I was stuck with the monster. What monster? Tell us. Tell us. Whatever that thing was, we're not going back there. With everything I've seen, I think it's time to run some tests. All right. Time for science. <laughs> Rock Hopper truly has a mysterious brain. Oh my god, these are all the rooms. Remarkable, really. I think it's time. Time for what? We get out of here. Alright, let's get out of here. Quickly now. Oh no, did I get stuck somewhere? Yep, I got stuck somewhere. Darn it, the room is gonna be full. Let's get out of here. Alright, we're out. Eh. Hello, Rock Hopper. What an adventure indeed. Running program. Beep boop beep beep boop beep boop. <laughs> Initiating protocol. Interesting. What do you see, Gary? If you see anything at all with all those penguins. <laughs> His brainwaves are really something. Processing. Loading data collected. It's like nothing I've seen before. Tell us more. The results were highly successful. Great! Adventure! Indeed. I must excuse myself now. I will most certainly be back soon. Well, that's great to hear, ba Gary. But it was nice meeting you, for sure. The time of my departure is nigh. Farewell, penguins. Bye. Goodbye, scientists. Keep researching while I'm gone. We sure will. I'm sure we will encounter each other again. Maybe sometime we will fight that monster that you've seen down there. Maybe sometime. I think he's gone. Oh well, that was nice meeting Gary. And a little adventure as well. <laughs> An unidentified object just crashed into the snow forts. We gotta go investigate. We've been tracking a strange object heading towards Club Penguin Island for the past few months and it has crash landed in the snow forts. It was predicted to land last month, but I suppose these things aren't always on schedule. Alright, let's go and check it out to the snow forts. Dang, there are a lot of penguins here already. And I can barely see what it is, honestly. It kind of looks like those balloons are stuck in there. Don't know if they're supposed to be the object or whatever. But I guess they're trying to dig it out. Alright, let's... Wait, let's first talk to this one. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is either. We best get to digging. Get out a shovel or strap on your miner's helmet. Alright, let's go. Mining penguin mode. Look at us with our vest and everything. All right, now where should we stand? Somewhere where we can click. Ah, ah, there, no. <laughs> there we go. You can't see us, but we're there. We're, we're doing our work. All right, let's dig this up. I actually think this is gonna take quite a while, but let's do it anyways. <laughs> Progress has been made on the unidentified object that crashed in the snow forts. Go help Rory finish digging it out. Alright, let's get to the snow forts already. There's certainly something happening. Did our work pay off? Let's continue digging. We need to find out what this is. Get out a shovel or strap on your miner's helmet. Alright, it's gotten a little bit deeper, a bit bigger. Let's go. We got this. A little later. Uh, we have a slight problem. You know that unidentified object that was being dug up in the snow forts? Well, it appears to have opened up a portal to another dimension. You know, the usual. Aside from the fact that it's sucking in every living creature it can find, it doesn't actually appear to be dangerous. Although, that being said, Rory does seem to be missing from the snow forts. Maybe you can go check it out? Okay, alright. Let's go. <gasps> Look at that. A portal. Let's go. <gasps> I have seen. I don't... I am. This place. Magical. Oh, it's a third anniversary celebration. A month late? Well, I suppose we did predict it would land last month. But if you didn't make it, how is it decorated? Yeah, 
I have no idea. Maybe it becomes whatever we need it to be. It appears to be some kind of alternate dimension, similar to the box dimension, like in Harry Potter. Huh? We can keep an eye on it. For now, go have fun. I think I see Rory floating in the distance. Wait, what? Oh, he's there. <laughs> but what is this place? I have absolutely no idea. It does remind me of the box dimension though. Maybe it's an anti-box dimension? Who knows? You just be floating around there. Hey Rory, how are you doing? Floating around there. Are you alright? Ooh, nice. Candles. <laughs> and we've got ship stuff here. Is that from the migrator? I mean, it could be. And other ship stuff too, with a dance floor. Alright, alright. Let me show you the box dimension Rookie talked about. Because I don't think I showed that before. Alright, if you go to the ski village, then go into the log cabin and go here. There's a box with a dimension in it. And you can go in and then you're in the box dimension. With a bunch of little secrets and easter eggs like this, that, that, and then cats. Da -da -da -da, and puffle, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Let's get out of here again. Later in the void. Ooh, it's quite a bit more full now. And Rory's still floating around there. I'm wondering, is there gonna be anything else we can do with this? Oh, wait. Cake bin. Yes. All right. What the frick? <laughs> nice. I rod. Nice one. Floating around as well. Eh. Throw them snowballs. Let's have a look at this igloo. All right. It's a bit barren. But that's cool. Nice. I like this treehouse igloo. Let's go back to the portal. In we go. We're back. Oh, another one. I found a hat. All right. Let's put on the hat. There we go. Now we got a hat. Guys, get the hat. It's there. Dance with the hat. <laughs> hey, guys. This is one of the operators. Yeah, I think. Of New Club Penguin, and look what happens if you go to his igloo. We're in the club, but we're tiny! <laughs> look at us. But now we don't hear any music. Darn it. Look at us. We're so tiny. And there's no poop. There's no thing here to do the thing. Wait. But we can just, of course, create the music ourselves. Look at that. Our tiny selves in here. I really like the concept of there being bigger igloos making us smaller. I mean, it's nice sometimes that it's more zoomed in in the igloo, but this is cool too. That's cool too. Look at it. Look at it. That's cool. And a dino puffle. Nice. Let's see. Can we go upstairs here? And what the frick. All right. I guess the igloo doesn't have bounds then, does it? We're just going to be here. Yeah, definitely. Look at this. Nice. This is going to be the exit door. But can we climb the wall here? We can. Nice. This is kind of cool, honestly. <laughs> nice. Look at this. What is happening here? If you go here, you just get basically slided down. Eh, got to get away. Uh. <laughs> Moonwalking. <laughs> Regardless though, happy three-year anniversary to new Club Penguin. Yeah. Hi. 